Yes. All right. What's up out there? What's up, family, to everybody out there? Today we're going to talk about a very important. important subject that's definitely needed in every household. So with that being said, that's why we're going to label this one Sex Talk with Family because it's needed. needed. It's very important. Mm -hmm. To all you moms out there, all you dads out there, it is very important. It is vital that you have these conversations with your family. It doesn't matter how old they get or how young they get. A really bad misconception, a lot of us family members make the mistake of saying, oh, you know, my son is too young, I'm gonna wait till he get older. Oh, my daughter, you know, it's just not the right time right now. She's too young for that right now, I'm gonna wait. Bad mistake. It's always but, the right time. It's always, it's always to the start right early, time. as yeah. early as possible. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's very good, but it's never too early. Remember, just like our other video. And never, it's never too late. Never stop learning. Mm -hmm. Another good video, go to that. It's another good video. Just go to our YouTube and go to ne Never Stop Learning. A lot of good information there. But um, I'm going to give you a very good reason why a lot of families don't talk amongst each other about sex. And here's a very two crucial reasons why. And it comes from the parent point of view and the child's point of view. Here are the two reasons. See, from the parent's point of view, the mom or the dad may say, ah, I don't think I'm ready to have that conversation with my son or my daughter yet. Mm -hmm. Why? It's because I feel a little uncomfortable. See, that's how a parent would feel in most cases. They feel uncomfortable to have a conversation, whereas from the child's point of view, the child is looking at it, or the teenager, they're looking at it like, man, I don't want to have no talk about no sex with my parents. Man, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to have that conversation. I gotta be talking, to them. man. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? So now, parent is uncomfortable. Child, child, teenager, young adult is embarrassed, and there should never be embarrassment from the uh, sibling towards their parent. Never, and there should never be an uncomfortability. Because remember, why, why would why would a child or sibling be embarrassed? This is your parent. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be embarrassed. Remember, like I always say. Who is your first teacher? Your parent. Your parent is your yeah. first teacher. Who is your, your greatest teacher? Your parent. They go hand in hand. Your parent is your first teacher and your greatest teacher. And you should never right. be embarrassed. All right. Sometimes yeah. the parent, when when the parent and the child, they're talking together as one, it's like, yeah, both will learn something from each other. Yes. Yeah. So, and, it be, and it makes a healthy relationship between yeah. exactly. the and child it, and the parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if we as parents, we don't do our job, but we actually, it, it's very important that we are in a kid's life and every detail that it's about in every personal way, mm -hmm. then if we don't do our part, what's going to happen is that these kids are going to be feeding off from this TV, every movie, got the always music. throwing music, the music. Parties the, that they're invited to. No. Yeah, Peer pressure. But TV, TV is the, the main thing. They're always putting everything sexual yes. in there. So now, is our kids are not, we as parents, we're not teaching them. The TV is going to teach them things that so are now, not now I like I like that what you said, because now it comes back to what we said. Who yeah. is your first teacher? Who is your greatest teacher? Your first teacher is your parents. So parents, this is why you got to have these conversations with your children. I don't care how young they are, it don't matter how old they are. Where you want, if they're not learning from you, where you want your child to learn sex from? At school? Out in the street? At a friend's house? And I, I have to say this because we're being honest on this video. As I said, all our videos are positive. We don't put no negative stuff out there. But we're being honest here. Mm -hmm. do, where do you really want your child to learn about sex? If they're not learning from you, you are their greatest teacher and their first teacher. So where do you want them to learn sex from? From out the street, the the bad family members, and let's be honest here, you want them to learn from that uh, no good uncle, that no good brother. You want them to learn from that no good cousin. Let's be honest, yeah. that no good auntie. Mm -hmm. Do you really want that? Let's look at look at all the Catholic priests. Look at them and think about how a lot of these parents, unfortunately. Some of the most common things that they would tell their kids is when you go to that Catholic church or whatever it is, you are to listen to what that priest tell you. You are to do everything that priest tell you and don't be disobedient. Now, this little kid is saying, well, my mom said I got to do everything he said. And what happens? Some very 
unpleasant sexual behavior goes on that that is way out of line. But see, if that boy or that girl was prepared, they will know. No, no, no. This is uncomfortable. This is not right. I'm reporting you. I'm telling my parents. No, heck no. I'm not dealing with this. You got to understand, like, if parents leave a void of silence to talk about it to their kids, the world that we live in, the crazy world that we live in, they don't mind fulfilling that void of silence and teaching them the wrong way. Hey, yeah. look at you. I like that because you're right. That void of silence that's not member moms. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to keep saying this. You are their greatest teacher. And it does dad, you are their first teacher. Mom and dad, parents, you are the you are the first and their greatest teacher. So let them learn from you. Don't let them learn from everybody else. They're supposed exactly. to learn from you. And you are to explain to them. Because like you said, it's a void of silence if you don't. So now, look at all this unnecessary music. They always got to put sexual content in it. And look, movies. like you said, Maybe and every can. movie, every movie, every TV show, they just got to throw sex, 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 sex in there. So that's why it's up to you, Mom. It's up to you, Dad, to explain to your children about sex. Mm -hmm. Even, like, if you guys don't just keep the conversation simple. Like, it doesn't have to be, Andre, you guys don't, every lesson could be very simple, but keep it going with the conversation. Don't make it one one time conversation. Of, oh, that's it. You got to make it a habit of talking to your kids every day about mm -hmm. it. Now there was a time when you was acting funny like that. When, <laughs> remember when my, mommy, every time mommy used to try to talk to you about, about sexual stuff, sex, about, you used to always yeah. kind of clam up. You used to act a little funny, right? Yeah. Because you 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 going back to that thing when I started off the video. Like I said, parents are uncomfortable, children are embarrassed, mm -hmm. and that's why we're not having this conversation. But you got to remember, you can't think like that. Because you, you got to take it back to the very beginning. Your parents is your greatest and your first teacher. Mm -hmm. So you can't be embarrassed because how could you be embarrassed? That's your that's your mom. You know how much you know how much stuff we had. We how many times we had to clean your snotty nose. Yeah. I told you to wipe your dirty butt. You know what I'm saying? You know you can't be embarrassed in front of us. We should be the ones you should be able to come to no matter what. Every child out there. You should be able to go to your parents no matter what. Come on, yeah, this is your, your first kids, and your greatest teacher. Your kids gotta be very, they gotta feel very comfortable with you. And they be able, they have to have that mentality. We have to make them feel that way. To have the mentality and, and, and the feeling that I can go to my parents and talk to them about just Cause. about anything. Because in today's society is is the communication is very hard. And it, it and if we as parents we don't do our part then it's like these kids will never come to us. They will go to a different stranger mm -hmm. and they will actually get the you don't want them information. Learn, you don't want them learning the bad way. You want them learning the right way. The right mm -hmm. way is from you. And like piggybacking off of what they said, like the more you guys talk about talk about sex to your kids, it's like it'll leave your child less with like anxiety or mystery or it would be a lot of like embarrassment to mm -hmm. to avoid that. It just talks to them every day. Yeah, and we know how a lot of these kids is. Oh, I want to go to the party. Uh, oh, I want to hang out with my friends. Yeah. Oh, I want to do this. You want to try to do everything against what your parents are telling you not to do. Your parents know best. But if they are going to go to that party, they are going to hang out with these friends, if they are going to spend night, you need to prepare them of how and what to and not do and who to be with. We know how a lot of kids, a lot of adolescents like to go against the grain all the time, like to go against what mommy and daddy says, mm -hmm. but the conversation is needed. You need to have these conversations. There's too many people out here, children out here that is getting touched and things are happening and these kids are lost. They don't know how to deal with it and sometimes they're being threatened. If you ever say so, I'll, I'll, I'll kill you, I'll do this. Don't, no, you, you got to let them know these things should not happen. Mm -hmm. And this is how you handle it if it ever does happen or if you even feel uncomfortable in any kind of way This is how you happen. This is how you deal with it Yeah So um, honestly, this is a uh, I enjoy talking to my daughters as well as um, My husband talking to our daughters and um, We know that they can get into a little situation where they don't feel like this You know, they want to talk but we, we still got to push the issue Mm-hmm so, um, yeah. So, as I said, it is a much needed conversation. It's a serious conversation. And there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Um, so, let's lose that little uncomfortability, mom, dad, that mm -hmm. you're feeling. And that little uncomfortability of embarrassment to all the adolescents. And remember, when you put them, when you, when you get rid of those, y'all can have a great conversation. And a great relationship. And a great relationship. Oh, yeah. And there is understanding. 
And there's, when there's understanding, there's room for lots of growth. Exactly. So that's what we want. Good we point. want you guys to be productive, as I always say. Um, and, hey, have this talk. Don't let any other thing be a reason for you not to have this talk. You need to have this talk, no matter how young they are. Remember, a lot of us go, we have kids, and we go, oh, I don't trust anybody with my kids. Remember, a baby can't talk back and say, mommy, this is what happened to me. You know, so of course we're going to be careful when they're a little baby. But once they get of any understanding, you need to start having these talks with them. You do not want them learning the wrong way by wrong people. Exactly. Or the wrong means. Like yeah. And you don't want them being prepared if they're caught in a position where they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do because my mom's never had this talk. My dad never had this talk with me. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. It's important. So, anything else? Um, I think I said a lot. Yeah. How about you? No, I said it's great, and no matter how, it's always have always sure these it's conversations. Like always, there's always something to talk about when mm -hmm. it comes down to sex, coming mm -hmm. to the their personal life. Mm -hmm. You know their feelings. We gotta respect them. Yeah. We gotta understand where they're coming from. Yeah. And we gotta make them feel like they gotta understand us. Yeah. Because it's not about discipline and telling them you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time. Just understand where they're coming from. Yeah. So then like that, they can understand where we're coming from. And it's a combination of a team. Mm -hmm. So like I said, let's talk about sex. But what are we titling this? Um, what you said? Uh, what I said, I'm going to leave it with. <laughs> I don't think I got it. Because your memory so is a little short. Sex, sex talk, talk with, with family, family because, because it's really needed. Let's prepare our babies. Let's prepare our families. And that's always be prepared and always want room for growth. Remember, never stop learning. Go to that yes. video too. You'll like it. Yes. And with that. Being we, said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Love ourselves. And you love yourself too. Have that talk with that family. Family, peace. <laughs>